know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, because we get in baddies over here. All right, you guys, before I get into today's video, I got some great news. Bow! Magnetic by Mystic Cologne, the best smelling cologne for the lowest prices. Back available. Hold on, let me get. Whew. Oh, I just wanna, I wanna seduce myself right now. Back available uh, online, magneticbymystic.com for pre-order. It's on the way to me, which is means guess what? It's on the way to you. And uh, once pre-orders are gone, it, it's it's not available no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be shipped out to you, and you gonna have it or you're not. So you don't wanna miss out, summer's coming up. You gotta be smelling right. You can't be going to these day parties, you know? Sweat dripping, must popping out, not smelling good. Like, get it under the pits too, you know what I'm saying? Back of the neck, spray, some people like to walk into it. I say just put it all over you, you know what I'm saying? Make sure they notice. But anyways, the whole reason you guys are here, stop cheating on no contact. He said, what do you mean, she's no, no contact, what are you talking about? I, I do no contact, that's, this is what I do. I mean, it's hard, but I do. You know what I mean. You're doing no contact, you're not hitting her up, but you're, you're doubting it. You're doubting if it's working. You starting to second guess the whole process. Misty, if, if I don't contact her, bro, she's going to slowly forget about me. She's gonna get used to not talking to me, and therefore, move on. You got it all wrong. Luckily for you, I'm here to tell you the truth. Psychology, you know, the way it works, your brain over time starts to minimize negative thoughts, negative memories. So when they're looking back at the memories, they're not focused on the negative, they're looking at the positive, the positive things that you guys went through. All the reasons that you guys were in a loving relationship, having the time of your life vibing, all your little inside jokes that made her laugh. She misses it, she needs it. And another lucky thing for you is women, they, they make a lot of their decisions, majority, 99.9% .9 of them, based off of their emotions and not their logic. So even if logically, you know, cause when she broke up with you, in the very beginning, she was telling herself, no, I need to break up with you because this, 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 you did this, you did that. Cool. You had to just take it on the chin and be like, all right, I get it, I understand, you know what I'm saying? But I still wanna be in a relationship. I'm really trying to get back up in there. Eight, like you really gonna let a brother slide up in it? Now, logic, because at the time, rewind, at the time, the logic and her emotions collided and it was just, you, she had to break up. It, she had to, she had no other choice. Because when the logic is saying, this is bad, and then her emotions are like, this is bad, there ain't no other way but to part ways. So now, the logic, looking back after no contact, if you're doing it for long enough, is okay. Um, it wasn't that bad. He was a solid dude. He did a lot for me. Um, had a lot of love. Yeah, he made his mistakes, but everybody makes mistakes. She starts to justify in your favor. Okay, so her emotions are telling her the same thing too. Like, oh, girl, come on. When you know when you miss him. You know you love all that lovey-dovey stuff. You know you were laying the pipe ride. You, you know you miss that smell of that magnetic cologne. Then she comes back around, she starts hitting you up. Little bread comes like, hey, how you been? Hey, big head. I see you working out stuff. See your post. Anyways, you're cheating on no contact because you're like, ah, I don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe if I just say the right thing, send that right text, it's gonna trigger something in her mind and it's gonna speed up the process and she's gonna hit me up even faster. It's not gonna work like that. It's gonna do the exact opposite of what you think it's gonna do, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You're gonna send that text, and no matter how perfectly crafted, how eloquent, soliloquy, is that what it's called? I, mean, I don't even really know what that word means. It's like a really good, like, poem, right? Or, you know, that's what I mean, poem. Let me just stop trying to sound smart. Poem, right? It don't matter. All she's gonna think when you text her is, oh, he, he still misses me. Oh, I still got him wrapped around my finger. Oh, I could come back whenever I want. Oh, I could step out and go hang out with girls, guys, get my cheeks clap bent over uh, a Miami balcony by Alva Andy, while Beta Billy over here sending Shakespearean poems. Stop it. Kiss him out. That's what I'm here for. Also, if you need some more additional help, you should probably download Attraction Made Easy Masterclass and get the real in-depth breakdowns. But yeah, man, you need to stop thinking that you need to do more. It's the illusion of action. It's the illusion of having to pursue her. Yes, we're men, we were pursuing creatures. 
We like to go after things. We're ambitious. We want to get things done. But guess what? In order to get this done and get her back, we have to fall back. We have to step back. So stop cheating. Stop trying to lie to yourself and, you know, check in. You don't really care how she's doing. You're doing miserable. That's the whole reason you checking in. The only reason that you have to check in with her is to make sure she is still there and she did not forget about you. But yeah, when you send her that text, she's not going to see the, the, the beautiful poem that you wrote her and all the, you know, apologies. All she's going to think about, especially if you did put apologies in here and talk about how it's going to be different next time, is all the bad stuff that you did is just going to remind her. Like, oh, yeah, he did do that. Oh, yeah, it still hurts. She's not even healed yet. You have to have enough time going by for her to heal, for her to miss you, and for her to just come back on her time. I know you might also be afraid, well, she gonna move on. Guess what? She might be trying to distract herself by talking to other dudes. So what? It's just like when you try to distract yourself talking to other girls, it works in the moment, but then you go home, and then you're thinking about her. You guys had a genuine connection. All these other people are fly by day, fly by nights. You know what I'm saying? Like here now, gone tomorrow doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of everything. She's not losing attraction of anything. It's making her miss you even more and value what you guys had because most people, most dudes, they don't know game. They're not running it right. And she notices it, she can sense it, she smells it out. And a lot of them, you know what I mean? If they're not in a relationship or haven't been in one in forever, you know what I mean? Not really running game and hanging out with an abundance of women. Their vibe is off. It's weird energy, you know what I'm saying? So they don't really want to be around it. And you know, even if it's not, even if they do hang out with dudes that be around a bunch of women, they don't give a damn about her and she could feel that too. So they're just giving her dismissive energy and it's not something that she really wants to entertain. You, she knows that you want a solid long-term relationship and commitment and you are still able, you know, if you get it together, balance that when you come back of kind of having that indifference, but still being in there enough for her so that she's still hooked and attached to you. Anyways, we gotta we gotta get you there first. Yeah, man, stop trying to find a way to break no contact. It's hard. But anything worth having is hard to get. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Everybody would get it. Everything would just be easy peasy. It's not the way the world works, my brothers. All right. So yeah, we we just gotta we just gotta man up. We gotta alpha Andy this out. Whenever you start to have a moment of weakness, just be like, you know what? I know she missed me. Yeah, she thinking about me right now. I am that dude. I'm really him. I'm Hemothy. <laughs> she be lucky to be with a dude like me. I know everything I did. I know everything I had to offer. <sighs> I'm about to do this tonight. I'm going out here tonight. She missing out. Like, it's a vibe that she wouldn't want to be around. Yeah, I'm about to get a fresh cut. <sighs> I'm, I've been working out too. I'm feeling a little bigger too. I've been eating right. I'm, I've been on my shit. I've been on my grind. You know what? She don't even deserve me, to be honest with you. I'm on a whole nother level. Yeah, all these women flocking to me. I'm talking about positive affirmations nonstop. It's real life. It really works. I know it sounds airy fairy and like, okay, it's kind of all this like metaphysical, like speak it into existence. It's true. You can, you can think that and not do it and get no results. Or you start talking to yourself. You can feel the energy. I just felt it right now. When I started talking, I was like, hold on. Cause at first you're like, well, what if I don't believe it? You, you start to believe it. Anything you tell yourself, you're going to believe. How are beliefs made from repetition when you were growing up you were told certain things and that's your belief no one's going to change your belief your belief could be completely different from somebody else's but that does not change the reality and the realness <laughs> of what it means to you so we got to change and shift those beliefs so constantly just be big up in yourself because when you go through a breakup you're going through a hard time you're going 
through all these roller coasters of emotions and you have waves of sadness, depression, and you just have to be able to talk yourself out of it because sometimes there's not going to be someone there to help you. Sometimes it just always comes down to you. So you always have to have you. But if you do need help, I got you. One-on-one -on -one consultations. First link in the description. We can do a 30-minute or hour phone call. Break it down. And I will give you guys the best recipe for success with whatever situation you're going through. I know it's hard. Sometimes, shoot, you just need somebody to talk to. So I feel you. Hit me up. Book a call. And uh, we'll get it right. Anyways. That is it for the video for the day. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download the Traction Made Easy Masterclass. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some babies in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.